Hi, I am Barun Prabhat and I am going to discuss comparative study of hearts in vertebrates. Here I will discuss reptilian heart. Reptilian heart is more stronger and muscular. It has two atrias and three ventricles. In case of squamata and silonia, here it is this one is the right atrium and this one is the left atrium. Here it is single ventricle but this ventricle is divided into some compartments by muscular ridge this one muscular ridge. One part is called cavum venosum this part is called cavum venosum here it is and another part is called cavum pulmonale here it is cavum pulmonale and third part is called cavum arteriosum this one is cavum arteriosum right cavum arteriosum receives blood from left ventricle and it supplies blood to the departing arches this one and this one through interventricular canal whereas this cavum venosum receives blood from the right atrium this blood is deoxygenated blood and this blood through this muscular ridge goes to the cavum pulmonale. In this way, cavum pulmonale does not receive blood directly from the atria. And this is pulmonary artery which goes to the lungs. This is branchiocephalic artery. From this arises right aortic arch, this one is a right aortic arch and right carotid artery. And another this one is the left aortic arch, right? This one is the left aortic arch. In case of crocodiles, as we can see here, crocodile has complete four chambered heart. This one is the right atrium and this one is the left atrium. This one is left ventricle and it is right ventricle. Ventricle is separated by interventricular septum. Right ventricle receives blood from <coughs> right atrium through right atrioventricular aperture and left ventricle receives blood from the left atrium. From this left atrium arises right systemic arch whereas left systemic arch arises from the right atrium. Pulmonary this one is the pulmonary artery also arises from the right atrium. Left systemic arch and right systemic arch are interconnected with the help of foramen of panija. Here it is. This one is foramen of panija. This has a role to play during the shunting of the blood. So in this way we can say that most of the reptilian world heart is five chambered, two atrias and three ventricles. Three ventricular parts are cavum venosum, cavum pulmonale and cavum arteriosum. Thank you. 
if you like my videos then please subscribe my channel